Next, I want to welcome Steve Finn. Steve is a Penn alum. Having earned two master's degrees from the university, he's the co-founder of the Food Systems Seminar here at the university, a group which brings together thought leaders from multiple disciplines to serve in an advisory function to food recovery projects in the Philadelphia region. Steve is a sustainability leader and managing director of Response Ecology, a consulting firm helping organizations to reduce waste and drive transform transformational culture change. He's also the author of the blog, Food for Thoughtful Action. Today, he'll discuss the necessary revolution is necessary now. Please join me in welcoming Steve Finn. Thank you. Food, water, energy, soil, air, all in peril due to one key word, waste. We face increasing pressure on global resources that are increasingly linked, and intense population pressure on a strained environment. We now face the ultimate challenge, feeding 9 billion by 2050 while preserving the environment and setting the world on a path to sustainability. We have 900 million hungry and 2 billion without access to safe water. Yet we waste over 1 billion tons of food annually and all of the resources that go into producing it. Obesity coexists with hunger amid massive waste of food and water. We are stuffed, starved, and soon to be thirsty. Paul Hawkins said that we have an economy where it is cheaper to destroy Earth in real time rather than renew, restore, and sustain it. That planned obsolescence threatens to make us obsolete. Clearly, we need change. Urgent, global, deep, systemic, transformative change. Who will lead that change? Business. Responsible corporations must be the key change agents, engaging consumers, suppliers, and governments in innovative partnerships while accelerating the change to triple bottom line principles and conscious capitalism. And for that, they will be rewarded in the marketplace. Sustainability, innovation, social responsibility, stewardship. The required change for food security, water security, and indeed global security. Systems thinker Peter Senge called for a necessary revolution. The necessary revolution is necessary now. Thanks, Steve. 